Hello and welcome to this video where we'll show you how you take an AI generated image and create a Blender file without doing any sculpting yourself because this model is actually also created by AI. So it is actually just full functional AI. You go and create an image and you see if the image is something you like and then you can just go and create it so that you have a mesh here. And that is actually what I'm going to show you, how you do it from scratch. So it really doesn't take so much time and it's very easy to do. You just have to write a prompt yourself into an image generator. You can use whatever generator you want, but I will just stick to this generator called Microsoft Designer. I just have a small amount of coins every day I can use to generate some images. And as you can see, I can go to my creations and then you can see over here, it was actually this image that I generated earlier. So it, it makes four examples of the prompt that you gave it. So I just wrote this and then it gave me four images that I could choose between. So this was actually the image that I was going with. But if I just go to the next side here, I have a stair that is actually curving a bit. So it could be interesting to see if the other AI could generate this as a mesh. So I'll actually just go and download the image and just download it to my computer and then I'll go and open a new tab and I actually have a bookmark up here with the website. So it's this huckingface.co and then spaces and Jeffrey Xiang and it's called trellis. And when you come in here, you have the option to upload an image. So I'll just go and take my image that I just downloaded. You can see I have a lot of images here, but I took and downloaded this one and say open. Then it will automatically go and cut the background out. And then we actually just need to go and say generate. You can also go and use some of the settings here, but I haven't really used any of them yet, but it could maybe do the result a little bit better if you go and sample different and go and adjust the guidance strength. But for now, I'll just go and generate. So just hit the generate button and now you can see it start generating over here. So it will take 16 seconds. And then we get this video where we can see the mesh that it created. So it actually looks pretty good. I think it's not that it get every details right, but it, it it will be good enough to go and use in a game, for example, if you just need some scenery or you need some stairs and you can really go and choose everything. You know, you could use trees or ships or cars. The generator is really good at creating these 3D assets. But the last thing we have to do to actually get it into Blender is just go and say extract GLB. Then it will go and download it. And I can see it's waiting for a GPU to come uh, become available. And now I have found a GPU. I should mention that when you click on your profile, you can see you have five minutes of generating times here every single day. So it actually just updated because the other count was from yesterday. So right now I have almost used a minute to generate this. So it's not that you have so many tries to go and create some every day, but you can go and upgrade this if you buy the Pro version here, you get 25 minutes, I think it was. But as we could see down here, the GLB file is actually done. And now it is a 3D model. I can just go and turn around and I can actually just go and download this now. So download the GLB and it's called Sample 4 here. So I'll just go back to Blender and delete this one. And then we go to Files, say Import. And then it's at the bottom here, GLB, go to your downloads and take the sample number four. In my case, it was number four. And I'll just say import. So it will start being a little bit small, but you can just go and scale it up. Let's just move it a bit up. So as you can see, the resolution is not that good, but you can go in and actually just make a subdivision surface and then it might look a little bit better. But you can see we also get all these holes here. So it's not perfect, but it still looks very good if we just go and remove it again. Actually, one of the things we could do is just go to the edit mode here, press M and say that we want to merge some of all the vertices that is close to each other. It could maybe go and close some of the holes when you make subdivision. So when I just did this, it actually removed 7,300 vertices. And you can also go and just right click and say that you want to shade smooth. 
but in some cases it don't really look so good. I actually think it looked better the other way here. It also depends on what look you're looking for. This could be like a game which is not photorealistic. But another thing I will show you is that the texture, or actually in this case it is the material, is actually also included in this. We just have to go up here and say that we want the material preview and then you can see we actually also get the texture with it we do also have the material in here so i think that was actually it for this video you can also go and create characters or if you're good at unity you could also go and include these things inside your game so you could go and create a character very fast you could use mixer mode to actually go and make the character alive and then just go and include a terrain object like this then I really think you could go and create a game very fast. And actually also if you use 3D printing, you could also go and just say whatever you want to print. And then it will just design it for you and you can just go and download it and print it out. But yeah, thank you for watching and go and have a nice day. Bye.